Welcome to Nasha's Art. If you're inspired by Brazilian artist Romero Brito's colourful artwork, this tutorial will give you ideas on how to create artwork that uses your own ideas and creativity, as well as inspiration from Brito and artists that inspire him. So grab a sharpie or felt tip pen and divide up your paper into sections. There's so many creative ways to do this, so do pause this video and try some of these out. Have an experiment and see which way you like to divide your paper up so that you feel most interested and it pulls your eye around the paper. In 1992, Romero Brito founded the Happy Art Movement based on the belief that art should bring hope, love and happiness to the world. This is where you can bring your creativity. Spend a little while thinking about objects, things, people and places that bring you hope, love, happiness and optimism. Then, using thick and thin black markers, begin to draw parts of the objects, animals and people that you've decided to put in your picture. Remember that some of them can be large, some of them can be small. Some things can be detailed and others just outlines. In 1983, Romero Brito travelled to Paris where he saw the artwork of Pablo Picasso and was hugely inspired by him. Picasso's work often shows objects in a cubist style. This is where, rather like the fish here in this picture, the object is drawn from many different angles in the one picture. You can see these people are drawn inside profile but their eyes are frontal as if they're looking at you. This is an interesting thing that you can bring into your artwork to add variation and your own creativity. When you're ready to add colour, there's things you can think about to make your picture more interesting. For example, you could use cold colours in certain areas and hot colours in other areas. Hot colours are orange, red and yellow, whereas cold colours are blues, cool greens, cool lemon yellows and dark blues. By putting these colours in different areas, you can make parts of your painting pop out more and give an interesting effect. Another effect you can explore with colour are complementary colours yellows and purple, orange and blue, and pinky red and green are all colours that complement each other very well and you can decide to put them in pairs in certain parts of your picture. Brito's iconic artwork is hugely colourful. The colours you choose can reflect your beliefs in the happy movement and how you feel according to the objects, people, animals and things that you have put in your artwork. I really hope you've loved this tutorial and have managed to create some unique and personalised artwork that you're really proud of. Do leave me a comment in the comment section below and please do like and subscribe to my channel. You can also find me at Nash Henkel Art on Insta and Facebook.